Hollywood is paying tribute to Anton Yelchin this morning after the actor was killed by his own car in a freak accident. Anton Yelchin was killed by his own car after it rolled down his driveway and pinned him against a brick mailbox pillar and a security fence early yesterday morning. He was 27 years old. Officials believe the vehicle was not properly parked, likely left in neutral before Yelchin walked behind it. His driveway is on a steep incline and his vehicle, a 5,000 pound Jeep Grand Cherokee. These photos obtained by TMZ show the force of the impact. The gate's metal is bent. There are some questions today about whether Yelchin's Jeep was one of the models that was recalled by Fiat Chrysler earlier this year for their rollaway risk after drivers were injured when they mistakenly thought they'd shifted their car into park. At present, it's not clear which model year Yelchin was driving. The actor was found by his friends after he didn't show up for a rehearsal on Saturday night. The freak accident cut short the promising career of an actor on his way to becoming a household name. Yelchin, who was born in Russia but raised in the States, perhaps most notably played the role of Chekhov in the rebooted Star Trek franchise. He will appear in the third entry, Star Trek Beyond, next month. J.J. Abrams, who cast and directed Yelchin in all three films, wrote in a touching note that he was brilliant, kind, funny, and supremely talented. He added, you weren't here nearly long enough. And Zachary Quinto, who co-starred alongside Yelchin as Spock, wrote on Instagram, our dear friend, our comrade, our Anton, wise beyond his years and gone before his time. Yelchin's Star Trek co-stars aren't the only ones remembering the actor whose death was felt throughout the industry. Anna Kendrick tweeted, such a huge loss, while Kat Dennings wrote, Anton Yelchin was one of my best friends. Can't say anything that conveys what this feels like. Yelchin, who began acting as a young child, was considered a chameleon in the industry. His resume boasts everything from crime thriller Alpha Dog to the romantic comedy like Crazy to voice work in the Smurfs to big budget films like Terminator Salvation. Earlier this year, he starred in the horror thriller Green Room, which premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival last September. We actually caught up with him at TIFF a few years before when he reflected on his growing fame. For you to walk onto the carpet and get this fantastic reception, what does that feel like as an actor? Uh, it's very humbling, you know. Yelchin leaves behind several unreleased projects, including a film he just finished shooting two weeks ago. Somewhere out there is my family. I can't find him on my own. Not only did Dory swim to the top of the box office this weekend, she also blew a big record out of the water. Dory, you are about to find your parents. And when you do that, you'll be home. Finding Dory nabbed $136.2 million in North American theaters, surpassing expectations, and becoming the top earning animated debut of all time. The tale of the blue tang pushed the tale of a green ogre, Shrek the Third, out of the number one spot. Finding Dory is, of course, a sequel to 2003's Finding Nemo. It's official, Iggy Azalea and Nick Young have called it quits nearly three months after the couple appeared to move on from a very public cheating scandal. The Australian rapper announced via Instagram she's ending things with her NBA star fiancé after he tested her trust once more. Iggy wrote, Unfortunately, although I love Nick and have tried to rebuild my trust in him, it's become apparent in the last few weeks I am unable to. As we reported back in March, a video appeared online that apparently showed Young discussing other women he'd slept with while dating Iggy. It was a allegedly accidentally leaked by Young's teammate D'Angelo Russell. At the time, Iggy laughed off the drama. Young confirmed the breakup news himself on Twitter with one word, single. As always, get your entertainment news here first in the morning and anytime on Twitter at NCity.